Hi guys, my name is Fred and welcome to Samantia Farms. Today, I'm excited to take you on this new journey that I've decided to take um, this year. So today I'm standing on a 65 acres of land and we just cleared the land. And I want to take you guys through the process of clearing your land. I know through this channel, most of you have been able to acquire land and you're asking yourself, what is the next step? What does it mean to prepare a land? Stay tuned as we bring you an episode of how to prepare a farm land. Welcome back guys. So as I said, today I want to take you on this journey with me, which is 65 acres of a farmland and what I'm doing to the land before I even start planting. So this land someday is going to be where all our livestock are going to be held. But before that, we want to take advantage of the land and use it to plant the grass, which is the brachyra grass, and also plant some maize. How did we prepare farmland? If you have a land now and you're thinking about using it for farming, either it being crop farming or livestock farming, what does it mean to prepare it? So there are two ways you can prepare your farmland. One is by just weeding. So that is the traditional way people or laborers will have a machete or cutlass and go around clearing the bush and then cutting down the trees sometimes in half, you know, with the amashati. If you have big trees on, then you have to go for a chainsaw operator to fell the trees for you. Because if you're planting things like maize and grass, you will not be able to survive with um, the shade. That's why you have to cut the trees down. So you cut those trees and you clear the land. And then from there, you leave it for it to dry. Drying will depend on where you are, the season that you are weeding. If it's in the dry season, then lucky for you. Within a couple of weeks, it will be dry enough for you to burn it. Once you burn it, depending on how well it gets burned and depending on how dry your weeds are, you can start now by planting. If you have an acre, five to 10 acres, then I want to advise you that instead of weeding and felling down the trees, look into your neighborhood and see if you have a machine which we call payloader or wheel loader if you have a wheel loader take it to your land and clear the land that will uproot all the big trees and take the stumps rocks and anything that you have on make sure you talk to the operator to make to let him know that you're going to use this land for farming there is a different way of clearing a land that is going to be used for farming and clearing a land that is going to be used for building. So today we want to show you on how we actually cleared our land. Why, why is it even important for you to use a wheel loader or a payloader instead of weeding? As I said, it helps you to uproot all the roots and stems and rocks on the land. What advantage does that give you? If you have an acre which is about 10 acres and above, then you should be thinking about mechanized farming. Mechanized farming is when you're thinking about using a tractor someday, when you're thinking about using other tractor implements on your land. You know, with this 65 acres, we definitely cannot rely on human labor alone. That is why we tend to use the payloader to clear it. Even if we don't have a tractor now, we are hoping that someday we'll have a tractor and when we do, we don't want the stumps or the rocks on it to be able to prevent us from using the tractor. So if you have an acre that is 10, even five and above, it will be better to use a payloader in clearing. Cause once you cut the tree and it's just the stump, it's difficult for the payloader to actually uproot it. But when you have the full tree on, it is very easy. 
and that is why we are using i'm gonna let the bed go around a little bit and show you how what it means to use a payloader to clear your land so stay tuned as the bed goes into the air and show you a little bit about how the payloader is clearing our 65 acres at the moment we've already cleared a bit but let's take a look at what we are doing now hi guys welcome back i hope you enjoyed um the bird video and this is an exciting journey that we are taking even though it's scary but you know with god on our side we know everything is possible 65 acres and i can i can wait to see uh we having over 50,000 cattle here having over 70,000 chicken having you know numbers of pigs goats and so on here at samantia farm this is a journey that um, I'm dedicated to and we are willing to, to use our, all our resources and knowledge. And we want to thank you for taking that journey with us. If you're sitting at home thinking about going into farming, it is possible one step at a time. As you can see, we don't even have a tractor, but we are thinking towards a tractor. You know, we don't even have any tractor implement, but we are thinking about someday going, you know, uh, mechanical. So if you're sitting at home and you're thinking about buying a land or you already have a land, it wouldn't hurt for you to clear it. I hope you have enjoyed this video about preparing a farmland. I can't wait um, to bring you the next video when the tractor comes in to plow the land and then before we even start planting. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell by the subscribe button so that anytime we upload a new video, you definitely will get a notification and keep enjoying. Thank you very much.